a look. So I got this at ProAudioStar.com. Now, I was hoping there would be a little bit more padding when this thing arrived. So I hope it didn't get bounced too much along the way. That's the machine. Let's be careful here. Good enough. I hope FedEx was nice to it. it. Didn't throw it around too much. So, okay, this is what we have: a machine retail version. So there's retail and educational. Educational is if you're a student. Retail is if you're not. Educational is a lot cheaper too, but I'm not a student, so that's okay. Anyways, moving on to the machine. Here we go. This is what the box looks like. Ten percent off Pro Audio Star. It's cool. Take that. Maybe for the future. Yeah, the box looks okay. Hope I didn't get bumped around too, too much. Uh, once I got my controllers for from Native Instruments, it's just like it was so intuitive. And then I saw the machine and saw it in action in terms of the production and then media controllers. I was just like, it sings for me. Like I knew, I just knew it was good. <clears throat> One thing I like about Native Instruments is I think when they make something, it's so intuitive with the controls and just the integration between this hardware and the software. <sighs> German engineering, very good stuff. Appreciate it, guys. So, let's see what we have inside. Nice, we have a little bit of packing material, which makes me very happy. And voila, this is the machine, oh, brand new in its wraps. It's actually, it's not that big, you know, when you watch a lot of videos, <coughs> it looks quite big. They're coming out with a machine micro now, which is going to be about this. It's, it's a smaller alternative to the machine. Um, it's still going to have the 16 pads, it's going to have all these different banks, it's going to have one knob and the top part's gonna be gone. They're trying to make it so that people can, you know, transport it more easily, I guess, and then it's gonna be a little bit cheaper too. For my opinion, if you're gonna spend $399, which is the retail price for Machine Micro, you might as well save up another 100 and then just get the machine so you can have all these knobs. Especially if you're working with, uh, you know, like Control S4 or if you have some other controller or if you have Tractor, you can, map every one of these knobs to do something whether it is effects you know you can do the whoosh you know you can do pretty much anything you want filters you know it, this is a great media controller in terms of all the buttons that you have so okay now we're gonna take this thing out we'll see how it is so it's, uh, it's pretty pretty good weight uh, now I was kind of thinking whether I should buy a MIDI fighter or to buy the machine and I decided to go with the machine because I can still use the MIDI fighter mapping to do the MIDI fighter functions with these pads and the pads here are very very good I played around with it in one of my other videos at a guitar center so I, I get the benefits of having the machine everything here I can do a media fighter on here and I also have a machine software so I can do more production and stuff for myself, like stuff on my own. So let's take a look here. So pretty nice. 
I? That's right. Okay. This is the machine. Right there. I have some experience with it, but apparently people say after playing around with it for you know just a hour, a couple hours, you already start to get a hang of everything because everything is so integrated with the software and you know all the buttons they all work really 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 good one thing about the knobs and uh, they have this nice rubbery feeling to them definitely uh, high quality knobs that it, it turn really well it's not gonna be too too fast there's no clicking but this is uh, people people compliment the machine on having very very good uh, interface very good buttons pads you know this is a drum machine it can be a drum machine so see the side which is where you have the USB which goes into uh, the, the computer and the machine software and this is you have MIDI in so for example if you're bringing MIDI um, from tractor into the machine you will use MIDI in if you're sending MIDI out from um, from machine to tractor you would use this one so. and I think I'm pretty sure you can also just go straight from USB into the into the tractor you don't really need a MIDI cable if you want to send BPMs from like machine to another machine or you know you got a couple laptops going you might want to try to use this that's what it looks like. I'm gonna take a look at the heavy box. So this is the cable the machine. We got the manual, I'm guessing. Yep, got the manual. Quick start guide. Complete elements. Very nice. Oh that's nice. So here you get complete you get the sounds. With the machine, over three gigabytes of 1,000 complete sounds. Great, very good. Quick start guide. Okay. And of course, we have the stickers for the machine. Native instruments. Very good. The machine. CD. Installation DVD. This is one, uh, machine 1.6 right now is the latest version, which lets you put in different plugins into the machine. You can bring in synthesizers, uh, a bunch of different stuff. One thing I hope the machine makes is a warping of. Know, different songs when you import a wave file into the machine to be able to stretch it out to uh, I don't know, beat it completely I guess is, uh, is the right way to say it but yeah, being able to stretch out you know, the rhythm and all of that which you can do in Ableton but for some reason apparently you can't do it in machine just yet so this is what we have the machine um, I'm pretty excited actually I'm very <laughs> I'm very excited about this. Um, it just opens um, a complete new uh, phase of being able to work with music because I mean, music is all about self-expression. It's about um, it's, you know, kind of letting out your inspirations. And I think uh, whether you have a controller, you have CDJs, turntables, you know, if you're you're a scratch DJ or if you're a producer, all all these things are just tools. You know that allow you to express who you are through your music, through your inspirations, and um, I think this is going to be a very, very good tool for self-expression. Um, a lot of a lot of creativity here, and um, definitely, definitely looking forward to using this. You know, on my own, uh, in life situations, just all around. Uh, that's what's up. Hope you enjoyed it. So <laughs> now I can go around and play with this, play around with the machine.